Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 202, happy number. This is an easy level problem on leak code and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. We have a function here that takes an n, n is an integer. It wants to see if it's a happy number or not. So for the happy number, we can just look at this example. And it's when you break this number into digits and you squared the digit and add it to each other. And then you get another, num another number. And then with this new number, you do it again. And you keep repeating this process until you get one. And which means we return true saying that is a happy number or there's an endless cycle and we, we can't get out of this loop and we return false because it's not a happy number. So I think this problem really tests your creativity when solving problems. I mean, there's, there's two things that come out to my mind when I see this is that we're looking at each digit. So we know that we're gonna have to do something where we mod by 10 and divide by 10 to look at each digit. And then we also have to look at this endless cycle where it's an endless cycle if we, we see the sum being the sum of something else. So if something's unique, we wanna use a hash table to see that. So those are the two key, key things that come to my mind when that should come to your mind when solving a problem. So in order to solve this, first we're gonna have to create a map object and that's gonna store all this, the sums, create map object. And next we wanna loop through n with a while loop, while loop through n being not equal to one. So this is because we want to loop through this until we get to one and then we can exit it out. And inside of this loop, we have to create new variables, create a current variable equal to n because this is what we're going to be manipulating. And next we want to create a sum variable to hold this value. Okay. And now we want to do a while loop loop for current being not being not equal to zero. So this is when we gonna look at each integer. And then once there's no more integers left, when it's zero, we exit out this loop. And this is when to update the sum with this. We're gonna find the sum with this through this cycle. So inside of this, we have to get sum add to sum the squared of current mod 10. So we're going to look at the squared the mod 10. So we look at nine first, square that, add it to the sum, and then we look at one. Then to look at one, we have to divide current by 10. And once we get this, we, we got to check if it's in the map object. Condition if sum is in the map object. We can just say map. And the first round, it wouldn't be. But afterwards, we can see it to, to see if it's going to be an endless cycle. And if it is, we return, return false. Let me change this real fast. Okay. And then if it's not, what we're gonna have to do is that add some to map with a value of true. And lastly, we set it. Well, lastly for this loop, we set n equal to sum to know that we get this and then this goes back in a loop. And we return, if it goes through this loop without returning false, we return true. Great. So solve it, we create the map. Now we do the while loop while n doesn't equal to one. We create the that current 
equal to n, the sum starts off at 0, and now we do the inner while loop. Current does not equal to 0. We do sum plus equals this part. Current mod 10. to the squared, so like that. And now we divide current by 10. And we need to do the math.floor to round down for this current divide by 10. OK, and then once we got that, we check to see the sum if map index of sum is true we return false if not we just have to add it to the sum map sum equals true and now we set the new n n equals sum and lastly we return true Great. Great, we got it. So for the complexity, time complexity, we know we have a loop here and then another loop. So it's going to be O of n squared. And then the space complexity. We are taking a map, so depending on n, so it's going to be O of n and everything else, the other variable is a constant. So that's it, that's how you solve this problem. Thank you.